Chances are either you or someone you know at some point had a dream of becoming a professional athlete. I myself was guilty of this as a teenager despite having absolutely no chance of ever making it to a league. While I would never discourage anyone from chasing their dreams, I also wouldn't want anyone doing so uninformed. So here I'm going to share with you the odds and how we get to each for each of the major sports in the U.S. Keep in mind this doesn't take into consideration international players until the end as it would be difficult to compile the number of active players in each sport across the world starting at the high school level. As it turns out, to likely no one's surprise, becoming a professional athlete is very difficult. Beyond the training, playing, staying healthy, and just dealing with things that life throws at you along the way, overcoming the numbers is an almost insurmountable task. I'm going to be covering baseball, basketball, football, and soccer. While I realize that many people don't consider soccer to be a major U.S. sport, there is a professional league and data available, so I added it in. Unfortunately, because hockey is such an international sport, the numbers are so skewed that I couldn't put it in the video because it would be so incredibly inaccurate. There are 511,383 high school baseball players across the country. For basketball, there's 538,446 men's players and 382,419 female players. Football has 1,023,908 and soccer clocks in with 390,108 players. Obviously, if you're playing in high school, your chances of making that team are 1-1 one in one or 100%. Just making the jump from high school to college means that only the best are going to make that transition and very few ever play at the next level without previous experience. Now that we are at the college level, the numbers drop drastically using the same sports in the same order. Baseball at the NCAA level has 63,573 and of those just 11,867 are Division I players or 12.4% of the high school players overall. Men's basketball has 31,514, where 4,894 are Division I players, or 5.8% overall, and the women's dropped to 26,935 players, with 4,702 Division I players, or 7% overall. Football fields 96,368 collegiate players, including 31,005 Division I players, which is 9.4% of overall high school players, the second highest in this list behind only soccer, which has 41,267 players, with 9,486 Division I players for an overall percentage of 10.6%. Starting again with baseball, of the 63,573 collegiate players, just 858 will end up playing professionally, factoring in 24% of the players will be coming internationally, filling in the difference to a total of 1,200 open spots. This means you have a 1.3% chance of making it to the pros. In men's basketball, just 342 or 1.1% of players will reach the pros with 29% of the overall 450 total spots being taken by international players. For the women, there are just 116 places available or 0.4%. International players count for 19% of the WNBA's total 144 openings. In the NFL, just 1,645 spots are available to the college players, or 1.7%, with the lowest percentage of international players here at 3% of the total openings. Finally, soccer comes in with a total of 560 spots, but with 49% of those going to international players, that leaves just 283 positions for the U.S. collegiate athletes, which is 0.67%. So in conclusion... Yeah, it's very difficult to become a professional athlete and only the best of the best will make it. Does this mean you should give up your dream? Absolutely not. I'm all for chasing your dreams. Just do so educated on what's ahead and it might give you that small advantage to beat the odds. Thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and let me know. Also, please consider subscribing as I put out a short video every day and longer ones like this twice per week.